What's up guys, ABC Matt here. Um, today I'm going to another neighborhood yard sale. This one is in the Overlook District. Not the greatest of neighborhoods. And I'm half asleep too. So let's see what we can find being half asleep. Hey guys, ABC Matt. Welcome to the channel. Good morning. If you're new to the channel, Hi. I am am a part-time reseller. I go to yard sales, estate sales, find oh, really? undervalued items and sell them online. So like I said earlier, I'm in a neighborhood gotcha. yard sale and the first one I hit up is you know this items here that probably not my cup of tea. Uh, a lot of old stuff though. But there is some little things that I find in like there in like a metal tackle box. And in there I saw a couple of zippo lighters and a boy scout boy scout um tie pin. So I do pick those up. Uh, other than those little stuff, n not much in this yard sale for me. And um, but I'll continue on and see if there's anything else that I could actually sell. What are you asking for the two zippo lighters and, and this tie clip? I don't know, six bucks. Six bucks? We do five? Yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. Now this yard sale had some pretty nice stuff. There was a couple of long chomp uh, purses. And I can't tell the difference between a counterfeit and a real one. It could have been real, but I didn't want to take that chance because um, I don't know enough about it. I know the company Longchamp, I know it's a good company, but I don't know the difference between a knockoff and a real one. So just as a reminder, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, it doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out, helps the channel out to grow and to provide more content for you. And hit that notification bell just so you know when my next videos will come out. Thanks guys. So either one, one or two things happened on that table either. It was clean, folded and everything, presented nice, and then people just ran amok and searching for stuff. Or he just threw it there and didn't care about it. Um, but when I see a table like that, it's probably nothing for me over there. Now look at the coat rack. This is where I told you I saw the long chomp uh, purses. Now the red one is a typical one I see that the ladies wear. but. I couldn't tell if it was real or not. This white one, I was searching. I, I didn't know what kind of company that, that was. In the past, I sold some Hermes um, wallet and, and wristlet. Um, I also sold some Michael Kors stuff. 
So I know the brand names. I just don't know if, you know, like I said earlier, if they were a knockoff or not. Uh, this one, I saw a tag made in China. Most of the time, things that are made in China are, um, sorry, sorry to say, it's not real. Um, but that one, I, don't, I wasn't sure. So um, just looking around, the coats were nice. Uh, there were some Eddie Bowers um, and some other companies. But the coats are kind of bulky. And um, I, saw, like, I saw them before, but I, did, I passed on those. But I ended up picking up a Sorrel boot that wasn't caught on film. Um, and then I went to this next yard sale. And in this yard sale, um, it's average, I would say. It had a lot of dinnerware stuff that I don't touch. They had like this uh, smoker thing for your um, bourbon and stuff. I, I, I didn't touch that either. But uh, there's some toys here. Now, toys is another thing I don't know too much about, like the, those uh, Marvel toys. Uh, they were from 2020, I believe, or something like that. So they're still fairly new. So I didn't know if I should pick them up or not. Let me know if, if you know more about toys, like the Mattel toys and stuff like that, and the, and the Marvel toys. Which ones should I be picking up and which ones I shouldn't be? Um, but anyway, I'm looking at see what else I can find here. I ended up picking up a Seattle Mariners uh, pullover coat. It's nice looking. Uh, I figure uh, a Major League Baseball fan uh, who's in particular likes Seattle Mariners will pick that up. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm I'm confused what the G D slash L means. I don't know. I, I figured the L is large, but I don't know what the G D means. I don't know. Yeah. Wanna try it on oh, or a grande? Oh is it? Like grande, like a grande? Large? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. So what do you guys think? You think the G D <laughs> means grande? I'm not a mariner. Just like fan, Starbucks. But I know someone who is. Oh, I, let me know. Uh I have no history of this. I never saw a G D slash L kind of makes sense but i don't know you 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 guys might probably know better than i do but if you do you please comment and let me know i'll take it <laughs> yeah um only have cash today though. yeah i have cash okay. uh, i have a five oh, perfect thank you so thank much thank you i'm sure your friends will enjoy it yeah i hope so and if they don't i'll just sell it or something oh, yeah, might as well. half yeah. truth I don't really know a Mariners fan, but um, I definitely will sell it. <laughs> So no sealed VHS. Oh well. Other than that, they had some Van Heusen shirts and doodads and not something I would pick up. On this table, there's some horses there that I didn't even bother looking at. Um, I know there's some that are brand name and sells. Just didn't care for it. I, I'm a particular kind of reseller. I had to actually feel like in the mood of looking at something to see if it's worthwhile to sell. If I find something that's 
not much of a profit margin or I'm just not feeling it, I don't bother because you really have to get into the the mood and energy in picking up something to sell. Thank you. Good luck with your sales. Finally, the last garage sale that I went to, I forgot to hit the record button on my GoPro, but essentially the guy had a lot of free stuff. So I picked up all these in the, in the free stuff um, area and it seemed like a no brainer. You know, Xbox con controller, you know, a couple of games and some movies that I could sell. Now, again, because it's free, I don't care what I sell it for really. Um, I could sell it cheap and still make a profit. And if it doesn't work out, what not, it's always the answer. So right now I'm gonna just show you my haul and then the comps. Thanks for watching. So first up on that free pile was the movie Tar. Fairly new movie, really good if you haven't watched it. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And then we have Batman. Reservoir Dogs is coming up next. Then we have the Adams Family. And then we have um, Munchkonsen. <laughs> I guess that's a Monty Python thing. Red Shoes. You see all these things in this free pile. I mean, they're, they're good brand names. Uh, like uh, well-known titles and stuff. There's a couple I don't I never heard of, but apparently they, there's some value to it as well. Wally, everyone heard of. And then the Citizen Kane, which is awesome. You know why? Because when you pull it out of the sleeve, uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of flaps to it. So the K, you flap it to the left. Then you have the A, flap it to the right. And then you have the top and bottom. And it spells out Kane, and you see the portraits. It's really nice. It's a really nice presentation for... Um, a Blu-ray desk. We got the games now. We got Spider-Man. Crusade Kings. Never heard of Crusade Kings. But PS5. You can't go wrong, right? Midnight Suns. Or Slings. Uh, Godfather. Everyone knows about that. The Xbox controller. And then we go into like the Zippo lighters from the first garage sale. It looks nice, fairly good condition. It's Zippo. Zippo is a brand, good brand name for for lighters. And then we got the Boy Scout tie pin, the Seattle Mariners jacket, and finally the Sorel boots, which is another brand name. So now is the comps.